Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have two more die casts for you guys. One that I was expecting and one that I just forgot about, which usually happens when I pre-order something and then it comes in months later. Uh, so we have the Joey Logano Xfinity Series 2017 number 12 PPG Paints Mustang. And for those of you who obviously know this paint scheme from Ryan Blaney, you may or may not have known that he is not the only driver to drive this paint scheme. It started in the Xfinity series with Joey Logano. Pretty sure the race that he ran it in, he won, which I think is why there's also a winner sticker up top there. So, we'll look at that. And then we also have a classic uh, from 1992. Yeah, Darlington, when Daryl Waltrip won. is Western Auto Lumina. <laughs> um... But yeah, um, I know there was a classic, and it was actually kind of cool, especially when I was able to find it. There was a classic late last year with Jeff Gorin in it. Uh, it's just sitting over there. It has the, uh, the red roof numbers. But they've only that's the only one that they've ever had, of course. Authentics has only made two before this. They're both Jeff Gorin cars. Like I said, that was the only one that they've ever had in a wave. I I don't know if they're ever going to do it again. But I know... I hope this one is not in a wave. Because then I obviously have to rebuy it again. In terms of classics, there's also a upcoming Mark Martin 1993 one. And a Jimmy Johnson 2001 first career start paint scheme. It's not the throwback one. It's the legitimate car. So, yeah, um, stop rambling and let's open this. Okay, so here we are. It is always cool to see a classic paint scheme. Like I said, I'm really hoping that <clears throat> this doesn't appear in an upcoming wave because I just don't feel like rebuying it. Although, if they want to put um, an other classics in waves, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Like the, like I said, like they did with Jeff Gorin. Uh, if there's a chance that they will do it again... Right now, I don't think it'll happen early in the year because I think they're trying to focus on all the 2019 like regular paint schemes first. And then once it gets toward the end of the year, then that's when they'll start throwing in random stuff. But right now they're focusing on all the 2019 paint schemes plus trucks. So if there is a classic one in a Authentics wave, probably be at the end of the year. And in that case, it might even be the Jimmy Johnson one, considering that NASCAR as a whole just seems to have a, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but I've noticed that pretty much anything NASCAR branded, there's always some sort of soft spot for Hendrick Motorsports. But yeah. Um, so let's actually get on to talking about these cars. So this is 2017 in the Xfinity series, PPG Paints. Virtually the same paint scheme that you still see today on Ryan Blaney's car. You can see what the Mustang looked as an Xfinity car back in 2017. Not too much different. But you can see the splitter is a little bit more. Um, as I mentioned, that wind sticker right there, the red wind sticker. What does it say? On, I'm actually going <clears> to <throat> take away from the camera and hold it up close to my eye so I can see. I still can't tell what that says. There's something where it says NASCAR race car. There's something even above that. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, you have the old spoiler that they only use for like one year. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. For this car, you have the white wheels as Penske always has the white wheels. The blue, it's not like a um, <clears throat> special finish or anything, but I do like the shine to it. I always like cars that do that. And here we have the, as I said, the Daryl Waltrip 1992 Western Auto Chevy Lumina. And I'm not really sure what's going on with the front here. I don't know if it's really showing up much on camera, but almost looks faded. But it can't be because it's brand new. Oh, you know what? It did say Darlington win, so this is probably replicating a... Uh, a race used car is probably was a little worn out front bumper, but look how squarish the front bumper looks. Looks very weird compared to today's cars. You have the white Goodyear logos. Uh, the 17, if you can tell, is very shiny. That's awesome. 
Uh, you have some old 90 sponsorship from AC Delco and AC Tough One. And a bunch of other sponsorships. Lots of AC Delco. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> there, there's all sorts of either AC or Delco or AC Delco. And, uh, of course, Western Auto being the main sponsor. But, yeah, this is obviously a classic car. It's one of paint schemes that people remember. One of the best from the 90s that people remember. Um... And as I mentioned a couple times already, if they do have classic, if they do bring back um, classic cars, of course, they've only had one in a wave so far, but if they bring them back to the Authentics waves, I predict that it would be at toward the end of the year and it would be most likely Jimmy Johnson. Uh, like I said, I just hope that's not this one. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I still have two more that I'm still waiting on, and of course I'll probably buy more as well. Um, so yeah, the the flow of diecast videos shouldn't stop anytime soon. Still waiting on Wave One to hit stores. It's well, I'm filming this on February 28th, but next time I go to the store, it will be March, and we still don't have Wave One yet in stores. So that's interesting. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all later.